I want to turn now to Justin Ling. He's a reporter with The Globe and Mail. And Justin, you have spent some time looking into the online presence of these suspects, especially Breyer. You've looked at his social media accounts, his gaming accounts. What have you found? Well, I, you know, what I found going back several years it appears to be an affinity for some basically extremist or at least, um, you know, ideologically far left and far right um, politics. So uh, going back several years, 2015, 2016, even up until earlier this year, uh, Schmelsky was using iconography of the USSR and of Hitler's Germany. Um, now, you know, it's obviously very hard to say anything conclusive about what that may have played into any sort of motivation about what he's alleged to have done, uh, but certainly it sort of paints a picture of somebody who was uh, interested in, in, in some sort of outside the mainstream politics. Now, um, when it comes to the USSR, that seems to be an affinity for his own culture. His father mentioned in one interview with the Times colonist, that he was very fixated on his own lineage, his genealogy, and, and we believe he is Ukrainian or Russian, uh, and that may play into the USSR angle uh, or the Soviet angle. Now, when it comes to the iconography he was using around Nazi Germany, he was frequently using um, the image of the heraldic eagle that was sort of iconic of the Third Reich. He also used uh, a logo uh, employed by the Azov Battalion, a far-right uh, Ukrainian militia that is also alleged to have ties to the neo-Nazi movement. Then finally, we were provided images from uh, a friend he, he played with online, an online game called Rust, uh, images of him in uh, military-type fatigues with an airsoft rifle, which of course files, fires non-lethal bullets, uh, and images of a swastika armband and a knife with the inscription uh, Blood and R, which is uh, German for blood and honor. It's a type of knife that was issued to the Hitler Youth during World War II. Um, so it's a lot of images that certainly paint a picture of somebody with some, um, some far-right leaning. Okay, uh, Justin, tell us about their Steam gaming accounts. What does that mean? So Steam is an online community and a marketplace to, to buy online games. It's used by, by certainly hundreds of thousands of people, uh, and there's nothing in, in and of that that would uh, suggest any sort of you know, problematic past. But once you go on to their profiles, who they're friends with, some of the posts they've made, the groups they're members of, uh, it definitely suggests some uh, affinity for the far right. Um, it's mostly um, uh, 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 it's mostly a, a language around um, anti-Islam, uh, far right. There's even a membership in a pro-Trump group, um, and it, you know people I've talked to who played online with them on Steam um, say that. Um, certainly, at least one of them was was talking frequently about um, the Third Reich, about Adolf Hitler, and and that's one of the reasons he cut ties with them earlier this year uh, and basically refused to to play online with them anymore because uh, he was kind of fed up and 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 sort of uh, confused by uh, you know this uh, this this teenager's affinity for for uh, Adolf Hitler. So, has any of this online activity become part of the police investigation, Justin? It's hard to say. The RCMP are being incredibly tight-lipped throughout this entire investigation. I contacted the RCMP about uh, you know some of these uh, some of these posts and some of these seeming uh, sympathies, and I haven't heard back. So you know I think they're they're likely quite focused on the actual manhunt, um, but uh, you know they've not confirmed any of this. They've not indicated that this is this is factoring into their investigation. I mean it it seems quite likely the police have probably seized laptops and computers to to sift through their online past, um, and so it's, it's there's no telling what else they they found on there. Okay. Okay, one last question then for you, Justin, straight to the point. Was there anything that you read that indicated a propensity for violence or even for killing someone? No, I, and, and that's why it's so hard to say whether or not uh, these allegiances or affinities for the far right or, or the Nazi movement uh, factors into the crimes they're alleged to have committed because there's nothing that specifically ties them. Certainly, I've covered enough of these stories to tell you that when you find breadcrumbs like this in someone's past, it's hard to disassociate them entirely. There's obviously some sort of connection there, but whether or not it's the actual motivation is still entirely unclear. Okay, Justin Ling with The Globe and Mail. Uh, appreciate your reporting with us this morning, Justin. Absolutely.